Welcome back to The Next Big Thing. I'm Brian Cooley. For the longest time, a home security system was something you called some company to come install, paid them a monthly fee to monitor, and hoped you never used it. Prudent, but not very satisfying. Maybe that's why just about 17% of U.S. homes even have one, and who knows how many are actively monitored. But our appliance team at CNET's Louisville Labs are awash right now in really interesting new DIY home security systems that are connected and go beyond just intrusion and fire detection, making them interesting CE for the first time. You get the components in the mail, you'll plug in the base tower here, and then you'll stick up the rest of the components using the sticky tabs on the back. All the devices communicate wirelessly to one another, so it's a very nice, attractive system. You won't have to drill into your walls, you won't have to wire anything special into your house. You can add additional sensors a la carte if you want to cover additional doors and windows or have an extra motion sensor. And they also have a carbon monoxide detector, leak detectors, freeze detectors. It's got a motion detector, it comes with a panic siren. And if you pay $350 instead of $199, you get two of these, these motion detecting cameras that are capable of switching into night vision mode. So this is a wireless hub designed to be sort of the central nervous system for your smart home devices. Right now you get Philips Hue support, support for Yale smart locks, the Insteon devices, Sonos music systems. The app is available for Android and iOS and it's very easy to use. All in all, I think it's a fantastic value, a great entry level DIY option and perfect for a smaller home. This whole smart home security trend is marked by three particular traits, low cost, choice, and innovation. Low cost, a recent price sheet from a major alarm company shows they charge several times as much for each home security module as you pay for the new DIY gear. If that helps get people over a hurdle that's keeping them from security tech, all the better. Choice. These new systems are the sort of thing you can buy now, add to easily later when you have the time and inclination, and tailor your system readily as your needs change. You can also choose your own monitoring company, or choose to monitor yourself, or switch back and forth. Innovation. The companies behind this new security tech are startups, or at least operate with that mentality. They embrace online control, interoperability between gear in the home, frequent updates to improve the product, and services that are rich. That probably doesn't sound like your current alarm company. Worldwide, the home security market will grow from about $20 billion in 2011 to almost $35 billion in 2017, creating a lot of room for these new technologies to tell their story and capture share. Consumers expect intelligent, personal, connected systems everywhere now, without lots of gatekeepers between them and a better experience. All of this is disrupting the traditional home monitoring services industry as they're now competing head-on with telco and broadband companies that are new to the market, and all of them are competing with services that ride over the top of broadband companies. So you've got at least three layers here. What's really needed here as well is a redefinition of this term home security to embrace really five areas. Security, climate control, appliance control, lighting, and of course entertainment. And if you push back and look at all that, from a higher level you start to realize we're redefining home security to mean more peace of mind than just crisis intervention and prevention.